It is day four of our Carnival Glory Independence Day cruise. Look at that breakfast view. We are headed to Mahogany Bay, Roatan, Honduras, whatever you want to call it, gorgeous. Look at the laziest people in the world except for Sherry. <laughs> We are taking a look at the Komodo in the tree. I hope it's Note to self, do not order burgundy from Amazon and have it delivered the day you need it because my girdle is longer than the dress. I have a scarf around my waist right now because I have a long way to walk.
Hello, you guys. It is approximately 12, 19 a.m. Day four or five. And I think it's day five. I finally passed <laughs> a 20 minute nap after early dinner and pictures lasted about four hours. And now it's after midnight. I'm hungry. I just knocked on Roman's door. He doesn't want pizza. So I'm going to find my other buddy. Actually, I'm going to find pizza and I'll find my other buddies. <laughs> I heard they were watching a movie. I just missed the Mega Deck Glow Party. I missed the comedy show with Geechee Guy. And now I'm out to the pool. You're going to see my hair blow with the suck zone. Hold on. Let's see if it. They're playing a movie out here. I'm going to get pizza. See you later. It's the Lido life, the Nasha life. Take care. Bye. All right, you guys. I am on the Carnival Glory. One of the elevators only went to deck nine. So I just walk above deck 10 where the lake pizza is and the pool that is not overly populated and there are two hot tubs and the cool thing about this one is it does have the retractable roof so you can enjoy the pool even in the rough element it is so pretty that's the sea Seriously, <laughs> I don't see a couple of stars in sight, but it's beautiful. Anyway, and I don't think I can walk out oh, this way. I did not want to get up the stairs, but we're going to keep walking. There's the tail. The tail that brings smiles to all the world. <laughs> when you see it, you're happy if you're about to board. More steps. Feel like Kung Fu Panda, my arch nemesis. Stairs. All right. Now it's only 1 a.m. in the morning, so if I stumble, it is what it is. Because the ship is not still right now. I might be the only one up here. <laughs> and they, this is the jogging track. And as you can see, they are very big into recycling. These are everywhere. There's the dome above. Thinking this in this dress. Okay. Now, a lady told me that the Serenity is on the opposite end and that it may be closed, which is insane. I was 300 steps shy of my 10,000, so. But it's past midnight and they are playing a very, very, very late night game of volleyball. And there's a little boy over there that's probably seven. And I, am I witnessing a fight right now? Nope, they're playing. Not sure what's going on. I hope they're playing. Oh, look at that. It is so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. One AM. My happy place is my bed sleeping. 
very well for a view like this. I finally took a 20 minute nap <laughs> that lasted about four hours and I woke up at midnight incredibly hungry and they're playing a midnight movie. Um, I can't remember if it's Dune or Uncharted. I missed No Time to Die by 007. Hi, how are you? And I haven't found my little buddy yet. My little other fellow late night cruise buddies. Alright, y'all take care. I'll see you later. That's a long one. This lady told me the serenity deck was closed and I'm like, I hear voices, I'm gonna see where it goes. Nah, it's not closed, no way. Oh, is that 21 over, right? Yep, I see a you go first, I'll go. Come on. <laughs> Anybody up there? Definitely party going up. Well, I'm joining. Or I'm going to watch him. Thank you. I just, well, I actually just woke up like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> And missed the comedian and everything. So day five was my limit. <laughs> well, y'all, they said the serenity deck is closed. I have crawled up under the barrier. I'm trying to find Sean. Maybe I'm at the cruise side. Uh-oh, I gotta go. I think I am on the wrong side. All I see is crew. I will just walk and make, do not make eye contact and keep walking. That's the crew having a little party. This is what the ship looks like at almost 3 a.m. in the morning. And uh, let's just say that's when they mop the serenity deck. Don't ask me how I know. And I see the people who totally passed out earlier are gone. Uh, yeah. That's what happens when I go to bed for 20 minutes. At 9 a.m. <laughs> 9 p.m. My 20 minute nap lasted way too long and I was hungry and now I don't even know. Oh goodness, what's the best way to get out of here? To find my room. This is the waterworks so you can see what the kids are. There's a beautiful well tell above the Carnival Glory and the movie theater. Okay. Oh, and the outdoor shower. The pool. Red Frog. Rum bar. Tequila bar. Back there, guys. Burgers. Blue Iguana Cantina Beyond the Pool Oh, there are a couple of night owls with me 
and this guy is sitting on a pot so I'm not sure if that's good or bad <laughs> and that's apparently when the pool deck is mopped <coughs> now I have to go sneak back in and not wake anyone they have plenty of life jackets for the children and this is what we call the suck zone. This crazy gust of air. So I made it to the ninth floor with one of the elevators. Ah, uh, da da da. And then did I walking up to the 12th, 11th or 12th. Crazy thing is, Carnival Horizon had 15 decks. Still my favorite ship, but I am giving old glory a chance. I finally warmed up to her. <laughs> I was giving her a hard time. We are on the veranda deck. Going down. Alright, you guys. Take care. You do not want to see me sneaking back in the room. Tell me you're at the back of the ship without telling me that you're at the back of the ship. Later. Be sure to stay tuned for days five through seven.